Oh dear. For this symbite, I thought I would practice shuffling some cards. I've always wanted to be able to shuffle cards like professionals, where you know you have them all fall together, and then you like make this bridge thing by bending the cards, and they all like slide together beautifully. <laughs> Pretty much, it looks like that, except a billion times cooler. Push and bend it. Ah, so dumb. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Oh, that was awesome. You're so good. Give me five. <laughs> One of the things I noticed is that when you shuffle cards like this, they kind of get stuck together. So you see the cards are like interwoven with one another. And now watch what happens if I try to pull these two decks apart. I'm going to pull. It actually took a lot of force to pull those two decks cards apart. Now, the reason it's so hard to pull these apart is because there's a lot of friction between the cards. So let's just say I have two cards and I want to slide one card on top of the other. Well, there's going to be some friction between these two cards. What if I add a third card underneath? Well, now I've actually just doubled the amount of friction that there would be. So if you can imagine, I keep adding more and more cards. Every time I'm increasing the amount of friction that would be experienced by sliding these cards back and forth. By the time I have a huge deck of cards all interwoven like this, the friction uh, is really large. In fact, it's so large, I wonder if I could just hold on to one stack, like just hold the top stack and have the bottom stack stay hovering there because of the friction. Let's see. Three, two, one. Sweet! Now, there's a classic illustration of this same idea using phone books. We used to keep our phone books up here, I think. Let me check. Candles and candles. Of course we don't have phone books anymore. <laughs> we just use Google for everything. I think I have some books downstairs, though. So these are both like soft cover books. And if I shuffle the pages together, like I would a deck of cards, right? There's going to be a lot of friction between each of these pages. So much friction that it might even be hard to pull the two books apart. Boy, this takes a long time. Okay, boom. Now, this is a lot of friction. Okay, so you can see the two books are intertwined, and if I try to pull them apart, ah, I'm actually trying really hard. <laughs> so they can definitely just hang here. Oh, there it goes. In this case, the trick to getting them to fall apart was to make the pages kind of loosen up, but that probably could have held up like 20 pounds. It was so strong. Maybe we do still need phone books, so you can do this awesome experiment at home. Stand by.